What is up, guys? I kind of did like a little brain fart moment when I ended off that video because I was thinking there's going to be a cutscene that you guys need to see. Try as that woman <laughs> might to spout nonsense to her very last, nothing could change the fact that she was an enemy of the kingdom. She sold out Fargus to the Empire, forcing our people to suffer their tyranny. But all that ends today. No more blood will be needlessly spilled. Now that Cornelia has fallen, we will exert pressure on the nobles who were aligned with her. Perhaps we may yet find a connection to the tragic incident in Dusker. Once we do that, we will finally be able to prove the innocence of its people. Your Highness. I am certain that would make those of Dusker who lost their lives that day very happy. I am grateful, and I am proud to serve a man such as you. Come, Your Highness. You still have some responsibilities that must be carried out. Your people have been patiently awaiting your return. Do you mean... No. I can't bear to face them after all that I... Yeah, we're going, bro. <laughs> right you are, as ever. I am their king, after all. What... What is this? As you can see, the people are rejoicing at the return of their king. Even though I turned my back on them and fled the kingdom in disgrace. Even so, the spectacle before you does not lie. We are a kingdom in need of a king. A hero to save the people from their long oppression. Your Highness, it is truly a blessing that you have returned. Do I really have the right to stand here? Will they accept me as their king? Bloodstained as I am, am I fit to be king? Yes, you are right again, my friend. I am finally home again. Fargus, how I missed you. It may be spring, but the nights are quite chilly here in Ferdiad. Still, our celebratory feast shows no sign of stopping. Have you grown weary of the festivities? <laughs> if memory serves, you were much the same at the ball all those years ago. I have just returned from visiting the graves of my loved ones. It had been a long while since I left flowers. I was always terribly afraid of going near there, but I could not stay away forever. You have taught me something important, Professor. <laughs> you never let up, do you? No, what I am referring to is far more valuable. How should I put this? Perhaps it is most accurate to say that you taught me how to live. If you and I had not reunited on that fateful day, I am certain I would have died a fruitless death on the battlefield. I would have foolishly challenged a horde of foes. And in doing so, needlessly sacrificed the lives of my friends and myself. But now I have returned to my rightful place. I struggle with what to say when I know well that words are not enough to express my gratitude. You saved me from the darkness and guided me back to the light. Thank you, Professor. With all that I am, I thank you. Revenge was never something I wished for. It was an obligation I felt I had inherited from those who died. I believed my life belonged to those who lost their own in Dusker. But what I now seek is something else entirely. I can say that with confidence. But I digress. For tonight, our only focus should be to bask in our victory. After that, we must prepare for our battle with the Empire. To start, we must absorb the Kingdom Knights taken by the Dukedom into our own forces and reshuffle our troops. The Lords will need to help purge our territory of Imperial forces, and I will use my authority as King to gather forces from various regions. And we'll have to ask the merchants to lend us the funds we require. Oh, and we must request delivery of supplies at once. Just thinking about it all makes my head spin. 
There is much to do, but it is all critical work if we hope to stand a chance against the Empire. Yes, I am well aware. I believe we have spoken of this before. Everyone has something they simply cannot accept. As for Edelgard, I am certain she will never be able to accept the Church of Seros. I believe that is why she seeks to destroy it. She is looking to revolutionize the world, in her mind, for the better. But even if she manages to birth a new world, it would be at the cost of... <sighs> I wish to end this war through acceptance, not annihilation. Just as my people accepted me, I wish dearly to accept her. But I fear... Your Highness, I finally found you. Ah, I'm sorry for slipping away. Has something happened? An express messenger just arrived from the leader of the Alliance. Please, return to the castle at once. An express messenger? What in the world could Claude be after? I am on my I mean, way. Professor, please join me. Is he trying to team up with us now? Because, bro, like you were definitely attacking us in that one episode where I had to use Divine Pulse like eight times. <laughs> Part two, Azure Moon, Garland Moon. The Golden Deer's Plea. The Kingdom Army has reclaimed the Kingdom Capital and plans to immediately begin restoring the country and its forces. But an unexpected request arrives from Claude, leader of the Leicester Alliance. Dimitri promptly responds to the request for aid and he rushes to prepare the Kingdom's forces. We have received a request for aid from the Alliance. They are being invaded by the Empire. We have only just taken back Ferdiad, and yet I am already asking all of you to move out once more. Please accept my apologies for that. That's no problem at all. More importantly, how is the Alliance faring? House Regan has rallied the Alliance Lords. They are facing the enemy with all the strength they can muster. But we do not know how far that will get them. It seems the enemy's relentless attacks have forced them into a tough situation. Their defeat at Grandeur severely weakened the Alliance. I imagine the Empire now intends to destroy them before they can recover. To think they'd watch us chase their soldiers out of the Kingdom capital, then immediately go invade the Alliance. Their general is Lord Volkard von Arendel. He serves as regent to the Emperor. He has presumably taken command after the Emperor was wounded in Grandeur. He is known for his shrewdness and excels not only in domestic affairs, but tactics as well. He is not an opponent we should take lightly. Lord Arundel. I always suspected that Lord Arundel was behind the tragedy nine years ago. The timing of his departure from the kingdom, the fact that he abruptly stopped making donations. Too many factors made him suspect. If Lord Arundel conspired with Cornelia, and what Kronya and the others said five years ago. Mm. Well, never mind that for now. The Alliance needs our help. What are your thoughts? If we turn our back on the Alliance and then dare to rule falls, it will undoubtedly make our situation difficult further down the road. We would have enemies in two directions, in the Alliance to the northeast and in the Empire to the south. That is true. In that scenario, we would not be able to safely march our soldiers to Envar. I am terribly worried about Lady Rhea, but I believe we must save the Alliance first. Oh, maybe if we do this, the Alliance will help us out in return. We could ask them to help us attack the Empire. You know, a sneak attack or something. Annie, when did you become so devious? 
<laughs> what would your mother think? What? <laughs> it wasn't that devious. What do you think, Professor? We must go to Deirdre. I will admit that there is something to be gained for us as well, for when we eventually march south. But far more importantly, they need us. We cannot turn our backs on them. We will arrange to head out at once. Prepare yourselves, everyone. Thank you so much. So guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all this other stuff and uh, bring things back once we start the quest. Okay guys, I went through the month and now we're here to go help out Claude and save the Alliance. So let's get this mission started. Um, I still kind of find it awkward that after we had that that battle against so him and uh, Edelgard at like the same time, and like I legit like Having kicked some of his people's ass, to invade, um, that he would ask us for help. The army makes their last stand at the center of House Regan territory in Deirdre. The Kingdom army rushes to their aid after amassing more troops. This works out though, because uh, I guess that means there'll be more more on our side. Since we'll have Claude's alliance uh, fighting with us. So the citizens of Deirdre have all been evacuated and are now at sea. Are you sure about this? If Deirdre were to fall, those ships don't have enough resources for. Deirdre won't fall. Have some faith in me, will you? Oh. Yes, sir. Our line of defense has been broken. The Imperial Army will be here any moment. Understood. You two join up with the troops in the city. Yes, sir. Judith, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. It's been years since I last battled in the city streets. Don't go messing up because your vision is weakened with age. Take the defensive for now. Yeah, yeah, I get it. You hang in there too, boy. Your wounds from Granderfield haven't fully healed yet, have they? No, but it's not like I can sit this one out. I have to make my daring escape, after all. Yet for the last time, stop calling me boy. That's an official order from the leader of the Alliance. Understood, leader man. I wonder if our leader man <laughs> will show up. We fought on opposite sides at Gronder, didn't we? They'll come. You can count on it. If anyone can bring him back, it's Teach. Teach will talk and he'll listen. But more than anything, I've seen their skill and their abilities. I believe in them. Claude, reinforcements are coming from the West. Their banner is that of the kingdom. What did I tell you? They're here and just in time. It appears the Imperial Army has already marched into Deirdre and engaged the Alliance. It seems the Imperial advance has been stalled by guerrilla skirmishes. The Alliance forces are holding out, but they won't last much longer. That must be Judith of House Daphnel, who joined up with Claude's troops. To think Judith, a true hero, would find herself backed into a corner like this. It is not so. The Alliance has only drawn the enemy so deeply into the city to allow us to attack them from behind. Brilliant. I believe so. He put his soldiers into position purely on the belief that we'd come. <laughs> I can't believe Claude would risk everything on that belief. He has placed all That's of his hopes in us. Let's make sure we live up to his expectations, Professor. Here we go. Let's move! Alliance has managed to escape to the harbor, has he? Those rats resist in vain. Your Excellency, 
There's an army closing in on us from outside. The banners are those of House Blathid. Blathid? I see. That idiot failed, it seems. Hurry up and kill the leader of the Alliance. With him gone, Deirdre will fall. I will not let Claude die. Let's hurry to his rescue. Oh, uh, we will try. Hey, you're late. Hurry up and help. That also makes me um, kind of remember this guy has like an ability. I can't remember if I put the ability on him, but Claude, he is all the way over here. Okay, so we have to power our way <laughs> through all these guys. Wow. Okay. Um, let's see how this goes. Leave it to me. What's I'm kind of just gonna put like my strongest people furthest up front. I feel like they should be able to survive. Um, they'll, they'll end up kicking everybody's ass too, anyway. I expect no less. What's the plan? Yeah, the mobility with the Great Knight is kind of what I wanted to, well, the reason why I ended up upgrading him. I'm going to see if I can get uh, the dude to be that as well for us. I am prepared. I'd be honored. Oh, they got a mortal savant up there. Getting closer. Just wait you right there. Ready when you are. Is that a good idea? Next try. At your service. Okay, level 41. Ready and able. Her magic's getting to be pretty high too. More fighting. Thanks. Just in case. Uh, we'll just keep him right there. Claude's nuts. Asking me to protect the bridge. That's so much responsibility. But the guy's weapon so looks so nice. I feel sorry for him. So I'll do what I can to protect him. For now. The subjugation of Deirdre is complete. We will be joining the main army now. Ah, they're showing up one after another. Nothing for it but to blockade the gate leading to the town. I don't want the enemy's numbers to increase any more. So you guys want me to take this guy out? <laughs> I don't know, I feel like it's kind of hard to, oh, you came out here to help us out? Okay, bet. I don't know, I was kind of wondering if we should take out these people to the left or not. I feel like we're decently ready. Yeah, doing two damage, that's... That's nothing. Clear back! 
Yeah, we gotta get him caught up. I wield. I think I gave him the e experience gem just to have him gain more EXP from these fights. Oh no, I'm kind of hoping that's a good route to have her take. <laughs> Now it's just a matter of like, who do I want him to help take out? Oh boy. Okay, not you guys. Definitely go though. Great work. Oh, I could probably have him set up nicely at that wall and have him snipe the rest on that part near Hilda. It's no good. We're surrounded. But I need to hurry up and rescue the boy. To get to the harbor, first we have to get rid of the enemy mercenaries. There's no other way. Is there not? <laughs> Kind of wondering what what happens if we put our guy here. Okay, that closes it off. So maybe we have to actually have people planted in certain spots. Not so fast. That's like my best guess. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here with all that. Thank you. That was a big. Who's that? Oh, okay. I was like, who the heck out here targeting? <laughs> I don't know. Can we hit from here? See, yeah, that, that's something. See, I'm thinking I'll move you up. Have you give him extra movement. He should be able to uh, kill with the helm splitter. No, he can't. Uh... Might as well just leave it like that then. Ineffective. <laughs> Who's targeting me? See, that's that just looks like instant death. Cause uh let's see what these guys movement can be. Oh, 
Okay, well, I think we're somewhat good if we move him here. Oh, wow, I just realized I don't have... I don't have any, like, health potions on this guy. That's bad. <laughs> Impressive. Yeah, I wish I could just trade that away. <laughs> I needed that. I don't know if it was better to heal him up or if we should have healed up Gilbert. I can't believe they pushed through to here. Nothing is more foolish than dying in vain. Let's get to the harbor and finish off the leader of the Alliance. Look, the Imperial Army Supply Corps. But attacking now would be a fine plan. Okay, we got an Aurora shield. Uh, what's the difference? This one nullifies effectiveness against flyers. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll swap that out. Guess that's my best bet. Anybody even coming over here to attack him? No. I don't want to get a crit. Oh. That was like your one time to hit a crit, bro. He got a self-heal too. I don't know why I just now notice that. Hmm, <laughs> that was nice. I know it's kind of convenient having a war master on the team now. So it looks like he's trying to maneuver his way over there. Brilliant. 
Why are you using a rusted bow? See, he's in like the range for this dude to like mess him up. He'll do 60, 62 to my guy. My guy has 71 health. Yeah, I'm just gonna hope that he's good. <laughs> I give him extra extra two HP. <laughs> but that archer might be Nothing able to take him out. So hard as a cornered rat, eh? It's time yep. to retreat. So we'll just move him back. Um kinda out of the range. can even get him out of the range I don't know it doesn't look like we really can um, it looks like My orders. Dimitri is just gonna be yeah, it looks like Dimitri in general just have to be the one to not die right there at your service This is pretty interesting with how I'm gonna do this movement. Leave it to me. Cause I'm hoping. Yeah, you can take him out. You would raise a weapon against your uncle. You've grown into a savage of a man, just like your father. You are rather sure calm have. for one in your position. Or did you forget that this is a battlefield? Perhaps this is no time for words, Uncle. There will be time for that after we have settled things here. Do I mm, got him. end here? A bit disappointing. Uncle, I need to know. The incident nine years ago. You were involved, weren't you? You know something. What did Cornelia... No. What did my stepmother do? You are not qualified to look into the darkness. You and Edelgard. Do your best to kill each other. You are family after all. There it is. The light. Oh, you gonna go out like that, bro? for these cutscenes, man. He's dead. There goes our chance to gain more information. And again, even if we had managed to capture him alive, judging by the way he was acting. Teach is absolutely right. We should take this rare opportunity to let off some tension. It's been a long time, Claude. I'm glad to see that you're safe. Same. I haven't seen you since the nightmare that was Grander. She really did come to help us. You must be a bunch of soft-hearted suckers, huh? If you really felt that way, you would not have set up a defensive battle in the hopes that we would come. It worked out only because we made it in time. Were you really so confident that we would answer the call? Of course. I knew you wouldn't hesitate to put yourself second and come running to our aid. You and I are cut from different cloth. I wouldn't make a move unless I could gain something from it. You've always been just the opposite. And of course, I've always been fond of taking dangerous risks. After all, I sent that express messenger before you had even recaptured the kingdom capital. If all went to plan, I knew you'd recapture it soon, and then respond to our request for aid. It was riskier than usual, I'll give you that. 
but it was the only card I had to play, so I took the gamble. You crossed too many dangerous bridges from my liking. I know, I know. But that ends today. What do you mean? Here, take this. Use it however you see fit. A legendary bow. Bro, from... what? Isn't this the hero's relic of House Regan? Hold, Claude. This must be one of your jokes. You cannot truly intend to part with this. It's not a joke. As of today, the Leicester Alliance is no You're more. part of the kingdom? Just what are you planning, Claude? If you're going to leave Fodland, then the Alliance Lords will follow you. Back in the day, the Alliance split off from the kingdom. I'm just putting us back together again. Oh, and I've already gained the support of the other Lords at the Roundtable Conference, so you can stop looking at me like I'm crazy. All that's left for me is to officially step down as the leader of the Alliance. Hold your horses there, Teach. I'm leaving Fodlan. There are things I have to do. Dreams. Oh, he just doesn't want to fight push. anymore. <laughs> that's why I became the Alliance leader to begin with, actually. But it left me no time for what I was really after. Maybe that's why he's a, uh, a wyvern rider. You better responsibilities yourselves, or else you'll end up in the same boat. And remember, both the living and the dead cling to us without any regard for our own lives. It's up to us to break free of that weight and follow the path that we believe in. Claude. Oops. I almost forgot the most important thing. If you're looking for Rhea, apparently she's being held captive in the Imperial capital. It doesn't sound like they intend to kill her, but there's no telling what they're planning. You have Using my her gratitude, leverage? Claude. Gratitude? Thanks, but no thanks. As far as I'm concerned, we're even now. I don't know how many years will pass until then, but let's promise to meet again. And when we do, don't be too hard on me, your kingliness. Wow. I think I'll give that to Ash, actually. Ash been putting in that Love work Dimitri. for the team. Are you finally going to tell us the damn truth? What are you talking about? Didn't Lord Arendelle say something about you and Edelgard being family? To claim that the King and the Emperor are related, could it be? Ah, I suppose I never told you, though I do recall mentioning it briefly to the Professor. Lord Arendelle spoke the truth. My stepmother was Edelgard's birth mother. Political turmoil drove my stepmother out of the Empire. Father fell in love with her at first sight, and they married. I lost my birth mother before I was old enough to remember her. My stepmother filled that role for me, but she lost her life in Dusker nine years ago, along with father. Hang on. I didn't even know she was your stepmother. Did my father know about this? Yes. All those who were close to my father knew, including Rodrigue. But to speak openly about it would have caused a scandal. And so she was our secret. No one in the general public knew about her. Naturally, the fact that Edelgard and I are step-siblings was kept a secret as well. I'm finally beginning to understand what you went through five years ago. I mean, Edelgard is the only family you have left, isn't she? To find out someone so precious to you is actually your most hated enemy. How heartbreaking. But wait! You two were born and raised in two different territories, right? So you probably never met until you were both at the Academy. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think the idea of fighting family is just about the worst thing ever. But hopefully the fact that she's a stepsister who you never really knew helps with the pain? Nah, he knew her. I don't know. It was just a thought. I'm afraid that's not the case. Though it was only for a short time, Edelgard once called Ferdia at home. It was a long time ago, but she was a cherished friend of mine. Wait! I remember now! She was that girl, wasn't she? The one you gave a dagger to. <laughs> so, your little girlfriend was Edelgard. Sylvain, if you have any more foolish things to say, please hold them for later. I do have a few more in my sleeve, but they can wait. Go on, your highness. This is important for us to hear. She may be a hated enemy now, but the Emperor is your old friend and your stepsister. Can you bring yourself to kill her? I will kill her. 
If I must. But if there is any chance that the world she seeks to create could be a just one, then I... I would love to see a future in which I may reach out my hand for her and have her reach back. That said, I have no intention of letting my personal feelings cloud my judgment. Too much is at stake. Your Highness, I think you should meet with the Emperor and at least try to talk to her. If there's any hope of ending this war without more bloodshed, we have to try. Besides, killing your own family. I'm sorry, but it's not right. I... I think so too. And you are right that we should at least try. I see. So my uncle's defeat is beyond doubt? Yes, Your Majesty. I have confirmed it via countless channels. I advise that we accept this as a drop of joy amid a pool of sorrow. Pretty words, but I'm afraid we can't rest until the joy outweighs the sorrow. And for that to happen, it now seems we must confront them all at once. Dimitri, who took back Ferdiad. Claude, who managed to protect the Alliance. And that professor, who was successfully mobilizing the Knights of Saros. What will you do, Your Majesty? Pull back our forces. In the west to Orion Road. In the east to... Fort Mercius, I presume. There is no better place for such a confrontation, after all. Indeed. And dispatch the Death Knight to guard it. He can buy us some time. In the meantime, I will... Forgive me, but I must speak bluntly. I do not agree with what you intend to do. Though slight, there is a chance that once done, it cannot be undone. Even I cannot always choose the direction my path leads me. There is no other way. And so, I must walk on. You know, it's kind of fitting that, like, the the um, the um house that had, like, the most magic users is, like, the big baddies dealing with magic and all that. Part 2. Azure Moon. Lucy Moon. The Impregnable Fortress. When Claude steps down as its leader... The Leicester Alliance disbands, and its lords swear fealty to the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. The chaos in the kingdom begins to dissipate as the people unite under Dimitri's rule. Riding this momentum, the kingdom army prepares to march south for a decisive battle against Imperial forces. I like how they have the, the blue and yellow like coming together to show the Alliance and uh, the Holy Kingdom coming together. They did a nice job with that. finally have our decisive battle with the Empire this month. The Eastern Lords are in the process of consolidating all of the troops within the entire kingdom. In addition, ever since Aryan Road's liberation, the Western Lords have been declaring their fealty, one after another. Affairs within the kingdom have calmed down considerably, and we even managed to win over the Alliance. Although it was a rough go at first, I'm starting to feel like we could actually win this. That's true. Thinking back on it now, we've really come a long way. We even have a lead as to where Rhea is located. It is as we predicted all along. If we are to rescue Rhea, then we must defeat the Emperor. Um, if we're going to march from the monastery to Inbar, then we'll have to cross the Great Bridge of Murder again, right? Yes, I believe so. As we have gained the Alliance's support, we should not have any trouble this time. After the bridge, we can cross Grander Field and head south. And then we'll take Mercius, the so-called impregnable fortress that towers on the other side. Fort Mercius? I know of it. They say it rivals even Arian Road. Count Burgage, the Empire's Minister of Military Affairs, once had troops stationed there. But according to our spies, a large-scale military force has entered the stronghold. Perhaps they are gathering soldiers from various regions to compensate for their losses. 
we try to avoid it, those troops will follow us and attack from the rear. It is best for us to handle the situation head on. Once we take Fort Mercius, Enbar will be within reach. This is the Empire's last chance to stop us from arriving at our goal. In other words, if we take this fort, then our blades will be at the Emperor's throat in no time. If this is the last fort between us and them, then the Emperor will likely do everything she can to strengthen its defenses. I just received a report on that very subject. The one commanding the troops stationed at Fort Mercius is someone we have crossed blades with many times. It is the Death Knight who awaits us there. Oh, so that's who we'll be battling. I yep, knew. your brother. I can't remember if you guys saw that or not. That might have been a paralogue, but her brother is the Death Knight. Um, there was like this mission that her and Casper did together uh, where she went to go talk with the Death Knight because she thought that that was her brother because of, I guess, similar characteristics as far as fighting style go. But guys, I'm ending this episode off here. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll be picking it back up, uh, going to that fortress to storm the fort and face the Death Knight. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. Helps out the video a lot. And also subscribe to my channel. Helps out the channel a lot. With that said, take it easy. Later.